That is stunning. That is just beautiful. It's nothing but happiness right there. What, what a piece of art, Pete. <laughs> un un fucking believable. All right, man. So I'm a pretty lucky guy. Today I get to take um, my GS1150E that Kenny Jr. so uh, so um, kindly got back up and in restoration form for me. It's uh, completely perfect. We've got new tires, new brakes, new oil. You know, um, she's uh, carburetors are synced and got a new battery. So uh, 25 years ago I started this bike and I shoved it back in the corner and. Uh, now I'll get to take it for another ride. Pretty excited about that. Wow, man, she purrs beautiful too. Starts right up. Air-cooled bike, 1,150 cc's. You know, um, one of the one of the last years that Suzuki did the air-cooled models, and then they jumped in, jumped into the uh, into the GSXR zone. And that's when everything was oil-cooled. You know, but uh, we'll take her for a little spin. See how she is. Wow. <laughs> it's got great ball too. <laughs> That's too great. Yeah. So much fun. Had a lot of great times in this man. Did a lot of 120 mile an hour runs up to Loudon. Uh, you know, during bike week. We'll take it for a little spin. See how she is. Oh yeah. Just how I remember. One of the best um, universal Japanese motorcycles that was ever made. Pretty easy to tour on. Handles absolutely phenomenal. I mean you know, it ran on these 16-inch wheels, so she turned real good for a big, heavy bike. And it's long as can be, too. This is not a short machine. This, this is uh, similar to, to uh, an oil tanker if you're trying to turn it around. But um, certainly one of the bikes that, uh, back in the day, got a lot of attention from people. And a little later on, some of the brothers went out there, and they started drag racing these bad boys. Uh, Terry Vance made a couple big horsepower bikes like this. And... Uh, I know he won a ton of drag championships on this particular type of type of body. Um, uh, his was a uh, two-valve motor. I believe that uh, actually this is a two-valve motor too. I believe, if I'm if I'm correct, it might not it might either be a two-valve or a four-valve. I gotta check and see. I can't remember. It's been 25 years since I pulled the thing out of the garage. You know, but uh, Kenny and the guys from the motorcycle museum did an awesome job. She runs beautiful. You know. It's got a gear selector over there. I forgot all about that. I put this away 25 years ago with with only 6,900 miles on it. Um, kind of amazing, you know. I I bought it brand spanking new. Went out and rode it um, for for a little while, and then uh, started road racing. And it got shoved in the garage um, pretty relatively quickly after a couple years. Um, in 1986, we went out and bought a bunch of GSXR. 750s and 1100s and uh, we raced those in the GSXR Cup Series back then which is a lot of fun and uh, so let's go shift on through the gears and see how she feels very nice nice and smooth oh yeah there you go get it right up to 90 miles an hour in about two seconds yeah big air-cooled bike will do that and it makes it feel like nothing man this is a beautiful bike to put one of your passengers on and really enjoy yourself with someone riding because uh, it's so comfortable. You really don't feel the, the weight of anybody on the back. Um, you know, they... Uh... Oh, yeah. This is where you climb over the top of these hills, do a nice wheelie all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> ah, it's perfect. One of the best things about this bike is they did some of the craziest burnouts you would not believe. I wonder, you know, the being that I'm down here, I believe we're pretty close to the, the shop. Let me just turn this ring around here. Get us back down to the to the museum. And uh, I think we got to do one smoky burnout before we put it in the truck, right? I mean, because uh, it's what they were made for. And everybody loves a great big smoky burnout on a Suzuki, you know? <laughs> uh, it does feel great to be back on it again. It does feel real good. Here we go. Nice little smoky burnout. Having some fun again. 
Yeah, you know what? You gotta do one more for the show. One of my favorite things to do is a little Chinese face. We'll make a nice little face right here for these guys. And we got one eyeball there, all right? We'll make another little eyeball, and then we gotta do a mouth, of course, right? Yeah, it's about there. All righty, now we gotta give him a mouth, right? He's got two eyes, let's give him a mouth. All right, there we go. That is funny. That is just There's nothing but happiness right there. What a piece of art. <laughs> All right, man, well, you know what? Nothing but fun riding my GS1150. I want to thank you again, Ken. You're the man, buddy. And you know what? There's happiness right there on a motorcycle. <laughs> that was funny as hell, dude. That's some good time right there. I'll tell you one thing, I've done a lot of burnouts on this bike in the past. There's no question about that. Me and the 1150 have seen some tire wear. Woo! All right.